Hello everyone and welcome to another Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 career mode video where we left off we just finished New Blood and now we're moving on to Island Hopping. It would be tempting to spend time reading on the beach in this tropical paradise. This mellow island resort needs a little shot of excitement, but the weather and the laid back lifestyle mean you'll have to keep your park chillin and still turn a profit. So when I was looking at the objectives before I started recording, we have to make some roller coasters that don't go faster than 54 miles per hour and they also have to have a minimum length. So, uh, long but not tall is how I understand this. So, oh my bad, not 54, 51. Maximum speed of 51 miles per hour and a minimum length of a thousand feet. Now that's not huge, but it's not small by any means. A uh, similar objective for entrepreneur, we need two roller coasters with that length and we have to pay, our, uh, pay off our loan. Tycoon, three roller coasters and yeah. So as we know, this is an island. This looks like some kind of dock for a ferry. Of course, we don't get to see the ferries. We just see our guests materialize out of the out of the duot or something. Okay. Hello, Mr. Park Inspector. What's going through your head at the moment? Let's take a look. Oh, no, no thoughts in his brain. He must have a smooth brain. <laughs> All right. So we have uh, three islands, two and a half, four. However you look at this. This is one. This is one and this is one, although these two are connected by a little sand uh, peninsula thing here. And then this island is outside of our borders, so I'm not going to count that one. So two and a half, that's what I'm going to say. Let's look at the options we have to work with. I did not look at the rides. I only looked at the the objectives. We have a snake helter skelter. That's on That's on brand. Uh, some thrill rides. That's cool. Ooh. Well, we do have water, so I could make use of these potentially. And a Ferris wheel. All right, what else? Okay, so not a whole lot to look at, but uh, to start with, let's lay out a path network. Now, as I've said before, I'm trying to be more uh, trying to be more cognizant of how of how my park looks aesthetically. So I'm going to make a make more of an effort to make this more pretty to look at. So what? Why is he kneeling all of a sudden? <laughs> well, <and> it, <laughs> I've never really looked very closely at the park inspector. I just noticed that he looks like Anton Ego from Ratatouille, but uh, that's all I've really, the only thoughts I've really had on him. I'm not sure what he was doing there. Now in the past, in the scenarios with a lot of water, I always had a flickering issue, but I'm, I played around at the settings a little bit and read some forums online. I'm not sure what I did, but it appears to not be flickering anymore, which is nice. So it's not going to uh, give me a headache or any of you guys a headache, hopefully. So let's, uh, I'm trying to do something a little more organic with the path here. That is not what I meant to do, but I'm going to keep it because it looks good. <laughs> is this going to connect? Ah, oh, crud, it didn't connect. Okay, let's uh, rethink this. No, don't go up. No. Okay, well, well, we won't do that. I screwed up my landscape, but that's okay. We'll just uh, knock this tree down. And we have a bit of a hill there, so I can't do much there. So it's like a tropical nature walk. Where you get a look at all the waterfowl. And a snake lamp that's freestanding instead of connected to a path. That's weird. So we'll delete that. Go around this hut. All right, so now we have a loop. The path loops around and we can start putting rides down. So let's start with some thrill rides. Maybe the flying carpet. Perhaps this is a good spot for it. Now this is a tropical paradise. So of course I want the ad adventure themed bamboo style entrance and exit. All right, perfect. Let's open this. Look at the stats. Not bad. And it looks like we do get to charge for rides. Do we also charge at the gate? Nope. The park is free and I can't change it, so I have to charge for rides. That's unfortunate because I discovered in the previous video, or the previous Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 video, that I can actually make a lot more money by charging at the gate, as of, uh, compared to uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, where the best thing is to charge for rides. Just based on how the ride, the, the game mechanics work, I guess. Okay, so now we have a ride. Let's get some uh, basic amenities set up. We need toilets. Right there. We need food and drinks. And, uh... Maybe a first aid station because this is a thrill ride. So the uh, nausea, is that floating? Ah, crud, I don't think that connect anything. Uh, I delete that. <laughs> Let's find a spot where that actually connects to the, wait a minute, this one didn't connect either. Bro, what the heck? Okay, close. I don't think I get all my money back because I opened it. Let me see. Uh, bah, first aid. Yeah, I lost some of my money. That's a shame. Maybe if I do this. Ha ho, there we go. Now it's open. Rest in peace, $25. Not that it matters. 
This is cool. Is this another scenario we get to play in there? Oh my goodness! Oh, look at this! The water reflects the night sky. That is so beautiful! It almost looks like these are islands floating out in the void of space. Anyway, let's get that first aid station in place. Now that I know how to fix it. First aid, toggle this, boom. Now it connects. All right, let's get a food court, maybe over here by the trees. So let's grab our path again, the leafy one, and maybe go through uh, like this. No, I did really the wrong tree. Oh, what a shame. Okay, so now we have a little loop. Maybe we can knock this tree down too and put that there and maybe have some kind of omnidirectional stall there. So now we have four tiles to place shops and stalls. So let's start with food. We have chicken and hot dogs. Cool. Let's face this out towards this main path. And look at what we have. Chicken pieces with dips. Let's have dips available with everything. And I'm going to turn all these up by 25 cents. So five clicks for each one, because I can't count. <laughs> or I can't, uh, I forget it. There we go. So that's done. Now we need drinks to go with that. This is the wrong tab. Here we go. Coconut drinks. Nice. Perfectly in style. What was this? All right. So we get ice and cream. Well, let's include cream. And yeah, let's include ice. Why not? And make this 175. Synchronized stalls of this type. In case I build another one, let's do that to this one as well. Boop. Synchronized stalls of this type. Now let's get more food because... Unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, there's a limit to how many people a stall can service at once. If it's too busy, people will walk past it, even if they're hungry. So now we have two of these open. What kind of hot dog doesn't have ketchup? Let's make sure these all have ketchup. And onions on the big boys. And cheese on the jumbo. And then uh, increase all these by 25 cents. Don't know if that's actually the fair price or not, but... Uh, that's what I'm, I'm going to try it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll make the jumbo extra because I have two uh, bonuses on it. Okay. And then let's get the regular drink stall. The drinks. Open this as well. We have cans of soda. Let's include ice with everything we can. Vanilla milkshake with ice cream. Absolutely, of course. Fruit juice with fruit pieces in it? Well, yeah, in a tropical paradise like this. And then lemons in the water. Now let's turn all these up by 25, except the soda. We'll just turn that to 20 because I like I like a dollar. It's a nice round number. One, two, three, four, five. Five! Ah, work. Ha ha. There we go. Okay, now I need benches and such. So let's grab um, let's see, what do, what do we get? Oh cool, we have a log bench with a with a cutout. That's nice. What other styles do we get? We have seats. Nope. Don't want those. Oh, I like this one. I think this is my favorite style of bench. Now I'm not going to make a, like a double path or anything fancy like that. I want it to be more like organic looking. Cause this is like a, a an Island resort type park, or maybe let me look what path types I have. I do get asphalt, but on tiny islands like this, now nah, we're going to keep it like this. I was thinking we could have like a central hub that's more organized and maybe has like a fountain in the middle and buildings surrounding it, but that would be too complicated. I'm not, I don't know if I'm skilled enough to pull that off. I mean, I'm sure I could, but I would have to terraform a lot and I don't want to deal with it. So let's grab this. Something like this. Now where are those snake lamps? Here we go. Snake lamp. I love the flames. Okay, well, let's remove that one. That one looks out of place. And now we need garbage cans. Gold trash bin. Uh, just to be different, let's use that. I don't know if I've ever used this in my parks before. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's finish off with a few more paths and garbage cans here and there. And then we'll build our next ride. Especially by the exit of the magic carpet, because as a thrill ride, it may have a... High enough nausea rating that we could have vomit issues. All right, now we need garbage cans. Where to go? The golden trash bin. Yay! My thoughts exactly. Welcome to the greatest island park in the world, or islands park, I island parks. How do you pluralize that? It's pluralize a word. Am I making up words, guys? <laughs> All right. 
Let's uh, now we we have a thrill ride. Let's add a junior ride or a uh, gentle ride. So let's see, we have there's junior rides. We have the snoik, the danger noodle hazard spaghetti helter skelter. That's a mouthful and a half by design, of course. Let's put it right here in the edge of the park, touching the path because we don't have a lot of space to work with. So I'm gonna make an effort to uh, use my space. So what? Why is this not working? There we go. Same with this one. Flatten that land out. Okay, so it looks like we have to expand a little bit to include this. Although, I think these sandbars are flat, or the beaches. Yeah, so the beaches are flat, so we'll be able to maybe include some more rides over there. Grab this. And the Helter Skelter doesn't really command much uh, demand, so what I'm going to do is connect that, and I cannot put a path here. Oh, shoot. Well, maybe if I... No, don't follow the land. Float. Yeah, I'm trying to drag it and make it go up, but it won't. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll connect it somewhere else. Somehow. Somehow in some way. Oh, so this part, spart, this part goes down. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll just leave it as one tile, and then we'll have this go down like this. And if we need, if it, it, bleh, if there's too much demand, then we'll lengthen it later. That didn't work. And that didn't work. What if I... Oh, there we go. Ta-da! We're down to the beach. Let's get a sandy path. Nice. Well, that's not sand. That's dirt. But whatever. So now we have access to the beach. And I think I want to move... No, don't close it. I think I want to move the uh, the entrance over, over to there. And I'll have to mess up my tree, unfortunately. But I can replant a tree. So let's... No, 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 no! What is happening? Connect to the freaking... Okay, hold on. I think, uh... Let me, uh... Oh, no, I can't edit the landscape. I can't click on the shovel. Well, that's a problem. That's going to be really challenging. Um... Yeah, this is a... <laughs> oh, no! Well, I might be able to indirectly mess with it by putting something here that and making the ground snap to it. So watch this. If I grab a chicken stall and do this... <laughs> I'm such a cheater. Well, it's not cheating. It's perfectly allowed. It's within the within the parameters of the game. <laughs> Why is this not working? No, I don't think it worked. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I could do it to the chicken stall here. I mean, what? do it to the chicken stall. There's no chicken stall. Do it with a chicken stall here. Kind of like what I did. I'm messing with the ground. What if I do this? And now delete it. This is such a convoluted way to mess with the path. That's funny. And then, yes! Yes! I cracked the code. I did it. <laughs> now, these don't look quite look like they're lining up, but the uh, the entrance is going over there, so I think we're... Hello, ducks! Woohoo! <laughs> Lose those feathers! So this is the summer resort you've all been flying to this whole time. Well, welcome to your home, ducks. It is salt water, though. I'm kind of surprised at you. I don't think ducks like salt water. I could be wrong, but I assume that ducks are more of a freshwater waterfowl. Let's uh, pluck all of these, all of our ducks in a row. No, 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 get back in line. You're getting left behind. You just abandoned your family member. Hey, Blue, lose your feathers. There we go. Oh, I never looked at the animation of this. Look at the chicken head bobbing back and forth. <laughs> I noticed, I always noticed the drumsticks, but never the... Oh, goodness, that's a lot of feathers. Okay, I never adjusted the price for this, or opened it for that matter. The stats, 1.89, so we can charge 190 for this. Ta-da! And there we go, all the kids are going on. As one of you explained in my comments, the difference between... I keep commenting that, I'm like, why is there a separate category for junior and gentle rides? The junior rides are reserved for kids. That's why there's lots of kids in line. And then gentle rides are just generic rides that are gentle. Which makes a lot of sense, I don't know why I never thought of that. Anyway, let's uh, mess up our forest of trees here. Oh, I forgot there's a hill. Unless I do this. <laughs> I flattened my tree. Take that. All right. Let's grab this. Or maybe put it on this. Uh... No, not this side. I'll put it on this side. Put the exit right here. Now I can build my queue line with this style path. What is this? The adventure style. Okay. Nothing too fancy. And I think this is just a generic Ferris wheel. Yep, generic Ferris wheel. Good to see. 
And the stats are 2.11, so let's go 210. There we go. All right, so now we have a beautiful little park coming together on this little island. Um, I think we should start thinking about roller coasters. Let's look at our options. We have the corkscrew, Giga, or <laughs> there's no way we're fitting a Giga in this park. Junior roller coaster, this is probably what we want to start with. LAM launched coaster, absolutely not. By definition, that's a fast roller coaster. Ooh, a side friction coaster. I don't know if I've built one of these in this game yet. So let's do this. Maybe, uh, maybe over the beach. I don't want to expand to the other island yet because we do need, if we look at Tycoon, we need three coasters that are at least a thousand feet long, but don't go faster than 51 miles per hour. So, and look, we have three islands, so, although this one's tiny. So maybe we'll have two on this big island. You know, we have a lot of space over here actually to just build over the water. So maybe we can have some water rides out there, but we'll have the roller coaster go partially over the water. And why has the world stopped? All right, we'll leave that running. Let's build this bad boy over here. Whoop, too tall. And how tall is this? Okay, a little bit taller. Just a tad. Now I think this, let me see. Three cars per train, what? Don't side friction coasters, aren't they supposed to be single trains? So if we turn this down, so that's four single trains. Although we are charging per admission, so it might be more profitable to shrink this down and get a longer train overall. But there's no upstop wheels on the side friction coaster, so I have to be really careful on hills that it doesn't fly off the track. But we have this little ghost train test mode, so we'll have the luxury of testing that and uh, managing that as we go, so I think we'll be okay. So I can't make this too tall, for obvious reasons, but it is a small roller coaster, so let's uh, spin this around like so. Now I wonder, do we get a live view of our graphs? All right, here we go. So here we get our, our speed graph. Let's keep that open as we design this, just to make sure I'm not pushing my luck too much. Should probably keep my height marks on too, come to think of it. All right, here goes nothing. Woohoo! Nice and easy. Not even close to 50 miles an hour. All right, so instead of going down again, let's turn this. And perhaps dive under the, uh, under the, the, what am I saying? Under the path, the entrance. Although first, let me actually put the, put the entrance on there just to make sure this works. So that's here. Let's grab this. No, no, you don't test. It's about to crash. Why does it always do that? Okay. Entrance and exit right next to each other. And upon further inspection, this isn't going to work unless I go underground. So let's not do that. Okay. So... Instead of uh, trying to go under that, maybe we can go over it. We started from 76 feet. So we should have plenty of momentum to go up a little bit. In fact, I might want to actually raise this up a little bit just for safety. Because once it's loaded with passengers, it will actually, uh, it will, uh, what am I saying? It'll have more speed. It'll have more inertia because there's more mass in the cart or in the train. Whoops. This right here might be pushing it. This, what was this? 76. So this is like a five, six, seven foot difference. So we might lose, there might be too much friction to pull that off. So let's have this testing in the background just to make sure that even works. Then big turn, just like that. And why aren't these wrapping around correctly? Ah, whatever, it's fine. We'll play with it. Ah, but I don't like it though. So maybe we flatten earlier. Oh wait, no, I can't flatten earlier. I was gonna make it go up a little bit first, but that doesn't work for reasons that we already know. Why is that stalling? Okay, it looks like this whole uh, idea wasn't gonna work. <laughs> it stalled. <laughs> okay, delete all this. Delete all this. Let's drop this down a little bit. And um, maybe make this one wider. Oh wait, no, this was taller before. Let's go back up to 50. What was it, 50 feet? Yeah, 50 feet. Oh, but this does fit though. It does manage to go over the track. That's a good sign. Yeah, this looks, this looks good, okay. 
It does look like it's about to stall though, so let's uh do something like this. Maybe drop all the way down to the water level. So you get so get your feet wet. Okay, so that was at 50 feet. It seems like we have a lot of drag on this roller coaster, so I don't know how well we're gonna make it up another hill. So 40 feet's pushing it. So let's go 40 feet. And see how well this works. Come on down, my friend. Let's go. Woo! Very slow, very gentle roller coaster, I have to say. Oh no. Okay, I thought we were gonna stall, but we're okay. I am gonna lower this a little bit though. And maybe make this wider. There we are. What height are we? 23. And the station is at 43. Okay. I don't know if we're going to make it back to the station, actually. Because <laughs> this is uh, going to be a bit of a challenge. Well, I guess we could just throw in a, a lift hill at the very end. That's fine. So let's go up. Maybe put the lift hill here. Oh, now I don't have room. Okay, we won't, won't do that. We'll flatten it here. Then turn... And I'm out of room. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's uh, add one buffer tile here. What is this? Station. It looks like we don't have the option to block section this. So if we want more trains, we have to make this station longer. So let's make this two tiles, actually. You know, I don't like the way this looks. Um, I, like all of, I like it as a whole, but making this longer here, I didn't like that. So let's actually do this. Maybe not. Maybe we'll... Hmm. That doesn't fit, so we'll turn around. Like this. And I missed. <laughs> Crap. Uh, what if I... Huh. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. And this misses as well, so... Yeah, I think I have to do it spacer and then this so we have a little more space here to do this now we're at the correct height so we turn and we're lined up and one more station tile and hopefully that gives me if i shrink this train no that doesn't work maybe a longer train in total with seven cars although i have a feeling that might uh because there's think of it like this when you get to the bottom of a hill or no, no, no. The train will still have a lot of momentum when it reaches the crest of a hill. And so the front trains might fly off while the back trains are still pushing. If that makes sense. I don't know. But having a long train will improve the throughput as opposed to having multiple smaller trains. So I think this is okay. Let's see how it does. And this is probably plenty long. Woohoo! Not the most efficient roller coaster, I have to say. And why is the water flickering? I thought I fixed that. Oh, that's annoying. It's going to give me a headache. All right. I'll go mess with my uh, my graphic settings if I can. If that doesn't go away. And we barely made it to this point. What the heck? This is going to be such a slow roller coaster. My goodness. Maybe if I start with the lift hill faster. Never mind. I can't do that. And now it's stalled. Is it going to fall back down? No, it just froze. Okay. Well, just a second, because this is driving me crazy. So you still see the screen, but I'm going to uh, play with my uh, NVIDIA control panel and see if I can get the darn settings to cooperate and make it stop uh, doing whatever it's doing. Supposedly changing vertical sync to adaptive fixed it, but... <sighs> oh, well. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. So I guess we'll just have to not look at the water too much. That's annoying. And so is this roller coaster. Why didn't this work? So let's bring this back. Ugh. Killer whale show. Cool. We might be able to do that here because this is a lot. There's a lot of water in this park, as we know. Maybe there'll just be multiple uh, lift hills. So we went from 75 to 50, and we still almost ran out of yeah, ran out of juice, ran out of momentum. 
So I'm gonna bring this, keep this one at a, what is this? I can't see. 23 feet. So let's have a second lift hill here. Lift this up to a respectable, not that tall. Let's go 50, 50, 55, 56 ish. Then we're right over the beach. Then we come out right here. Perfect corridor for us. So from 50 to... Let's flatten out, actually. 230 should be good. Oh, look at that. That is a thing of beauty. You go over one track and under the other. That's what we always aspire to when we build these. Trying to have cool little details like that. Oh, that's so good. So good. Okay, well now we're... I think I've kind of trapped myself. Let's have a lift hill lift us a little bit higher than the station so we can have a hill to kind of push us down. So a little bit of a hill to usher us through. Never mind, we are at the right height to begin with. Okay, let's... Uh, <laughs> A little bit taller. Little bit taller. To 50 feet. Now drop. Now this is the height we want. And I'm out of money. Okay. So hold uh, hold your horses there. Don't test. Okay. We need more money. So let's grab our finances tab. Oh good. Our, our interest isn't crazy. It's only 7.9%. Not too ta uh, tabby. I was going to say shabby, but then I thought bad. And I don't know how the, got, the T got in there. Anyway, turn this longer station so we can get two trains. 4 trains? Okay, so two trains of 4 or one train of 8. I like two trains of 4. Although shorter trains lose more momentum because they're less efficient, I think. I'm not sure. Uh we'll have to let's just test it. I don't think I can turn the lift hill speed up, which is a darn shame. I wonder, if we do block section mode, how many trains we get. Oh, hello! Ho ho! There we go, so if I do that... Although that's a little excessive, it looks silly, so let's shorten it. I am going to, uh... Uh, change the length of this here station, though, it does look silly. In fact, I don't have to make this hill, uh, quite so big. Let's just, um... What was this? 50-something to 30, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yay! Let's go wide here. Uh, yay, yo. What's in the way? Is it because of the lamp? Bruh. Okay, let's just uh do this. Oh, I'm not even close to the right height. Okay. All right, fine. Well, let's uh, go back to this mode again, so I can see what the- Hey! What happened to my trains? Give me six cars per train, buster! Alright, so from, what was this? 50 to 30, so we should have enough momentum to pull that off. At least. And now, lift hill here, to the height of the station. There we go. Beautiful. Now we have multiple lift hills with block sections and such. Alright, so two trains. This all looks good. Let's uh, close the editor and hop aboard. Alright, here goes nothing. I think this is the... Uh, I think we're... Yeah, we're sitting in the seat. This is the guest POV cam. So we can use this until it fills up the guests. And then once that happens, then we're basically sharing space with the guest's head. So we start phasing in and out of the guest's head and that doesn't look good, so... I'll take advantage of this while I can. Woohoo! Is the world stretched again? Or am I just not looking at this right? Oh no, it's okay. Okay, I think we're fine. Very slow. Why is this yellow? I'm not sure I like the yellow. Wee! This is so slow. <laughs> Goodness. Down through the supports. And then up this lift hill. It's like one of those older rides that has a lot of lift hills and most of the ride is just slow and whoa! Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, my cursor is messing with the water surface! <laughs> I didn't realize I could do that. <laughs> cool. 
or I think I did notice that in one of my early videos, but that was that wasn't in the ride cam. That was uh, from third person. Huh. Anyway, that was incredibly boring. Uh, let's look at the stats. What do we get? Nah, hello tree. I did not mean to click on you. Stats. No results yet. Oh, pretty good stats for a side friction coaster. Speed results. The length is plenty long, 50% longer than it needs to be, and the, the, the speed is short enough. So once I open this, I assume... Yeah, we'll meet both of those parameters at once. So once I open this, we'll win uh, Apprentice. Let's get a key line built first, though. Let's go around like the No. Around like this. Mess this tree up. Mess that tree up. And yeah, that looks like the only place to connect to the path. So on second thought, let's uh, backtrack this. Make this go here. Here we go. Now it's connected to the main path. And uh, no, my tree. I was trying to delete the, the dumb snake lamp. All right. Oh, we have Sandy style, Sandy style uh, path now. I want to change these. Let's do that. Oh, sorry, fellas. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. <laughs> oh, they'll find their way back. Yoo-hoo. All right. I hope you all don't just stand there waiting for people to find you. Yeah, I think he's just going to stand there. We have to grab him. Okay. Let's put you back on the path. Put you back on the path. And these guys found their way back. Okay, good. All right. Let's paint this. I'm not sure I'm digging the baby blue color of the cars, but let's let's change the track first. So the track can be instead of yellow, let's maybe orange. Okay, not orange. How about green? Okay, maybe not. What about? Well, that's pretty vibrant, especially with the yellow. But let's change the yellow anyway. Hey, hey, hey! Look at that. Now you can actually see it. That's one of my complaints about Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 is it's kind of hard to see things just because of how they're all rendered. They all kind of blend together. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you can still kind of distinguish items from each other. But yeah, this works, and I think I'm going to leave the trains the color they are. So, boop. Well done. You have passed the apprentice level. Very good. All right, so now to uh, now to get Entrepreneur, we need a second roller coaster with this uh, stats and length similar to this one, and we have to repay our loan. So let's look at our finances real quick. Yeah, we still have our loan of 11,000 left. How profitable is this? Oh, I forgot to change the price on this. Okay, these guys are getting freebies, basically. What was the excitement? 530 something? Okay, so 530. Oh, 536, so 540. All right, here we go. All aboard, woohoo! I see no one getting turned away, that's good to see. No one is saying it's too expensive. Thoughts? Here we go. I enjoyed Side Friction Coaster 1. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a very profitable ride. And so far, if we look at our finances, projected income, 3000 per hour. Total profit so far, $300. So nothing crazy, but it's something. Let's turn our loan down a little bit again, so we stop paying interest on it. So there we go. We have uh, th uh, four rides, three flat rides, and a roller coaster. And now it's raining, so I should probably I should probably capitalize on the umbrella sales while I have the chance. What is this? Pirate hats. Oh, I'll have to get to that in a second. Information. Let's slow the world down. I don't want to lose this opportunity. Right there. Now let's turn our umbrellas up. Two dollars for those. One sixty for those. Eighty for those. Eighty cents. I mean. Is that too expensive? Okay, he's running away with an umbrella, but he's not using it. Why aren't you using it? Oh, the rain stopped. All right, whatever. Well, okay. Souvenirs. Pirate hats. Let's put that, uh, let's put those here by the food court. It's more of a shopping area now, so let's break these. We'll have to put them on the other side of the path. Pirate hat. Let's make that $2. I could probably charge more, but I'll see what my inspector says about it. And the other one was cutlasses. I'm out of money. Actually, what is a cutlass? I actually don't know what that is. Is that a kind of sword? I guess we'll find out as soon as I have money to buy this. 
It's three hundred dollars. So as soon as uh, this roller coaster admits more people on board, there we go. Okay, toy cutlass, and we'll set this to one seventy-five. I guess we have to wait to see if guests are carrying it. I just realized we have no staff. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, we'll hire one of those guys and one of those guys. And this guy is extremely lazy, so you need to be disciplined, sir. And then trained. So he'll work hard now. And then the janitor dude, if I click on him, is less lazy. That's good. So we'll just give him training in that case. Still not very happy. All right, so those guys will keep our park in working order for us. I do have garbage cans, so I'm not sure why there's so much uh, litter everywhere. There's a lot of vomit, though, goodness. Guys, I have a first aid station. Come on. <laughs> How many people are actually using it? Customers zero per hour, popularity zero per hour. Guys, you can reach it. There's nothing in the way. Oh, total, total of 12. Okay, so it's just so infrequent that it averages to zero. So we have less than a percent uh, popularity here. That's weird. Oh, well, but we have it. Hopefully, it'll, in the long run, it'll be cheaper than having more uh, handymen. Probably not. I probably just wasted my money. <laughs> Has this made any sales? Zero sales. Thoughts? No thoughts. Okay, I don't think anyone is walking over here. There's nothing over here. No reason to walk over here, apparently. Huh. What if I made a through path? Nah, we'll just leave it. Or I guess I could, I could close it and move it here? I don't know. Oh, wait. Why is this here? This was supposed to be a garbage can. Uh, not a garbage can. What am I saying? This was supposed to be a bathroom. I can't believe it. How did I get that mixed up? Garbage can and bathroom? Those aren't even remotely close to each other. Guys, my brain is fried. I don't know what's going on. I sung in a musical yesterday, which was fun. But I guess I used up all of my brain cells. <laughs> all right. So now things are cleaned up. Now we have the bathroom like we were supposed to to begin with. I'm not sure why I goofed that up. What other uh, yeah, what other stuff do we have? We have uh, ATM. Let's put that there. Open on all sides so people can come take money out of the bank accounts and give it to me. All right. The world is fast forwarded. We have a little bit more money. So let's build more stuff. We have more junior rides. Let's build another thrill ride, actually. What's the Sky Swat? The Sky Swat is enormous. That's what it is. Where does it fit? Now we're on this island. We'll have to put it on the other island. Okay, so we'll do that later. What else do we get? Swinging inverter ship. Perfectly in theme with a tropical island park like this. Let's put it down in the sand. There's a good spot for it over here. There we go. Now it's not backwards. Okay. Entrance and exit right there. Now I have to link it all up. So let's uh, find a way to possibly connect these. Here we go. And then the entrance. Whoops, that's not supposed to go there. The entrance. Adventure theme path, as before. And then this will wrap around. Cool. Now I'm closer to the water's edge on this side, so I can put water rides down there. So let's open this. 3.61, so I can charge 360 for this. Very good. All right, now let's think of water rides. I haven't really messed with water rides that much. We have the, uh, where, where are we? Where's the killer whale show? Is that under water rides? Or is it under, other, under, other, bleh, I can't talk, what the heck? Gentle rides, killer whale show. How do I do this? Do I have to build a pool first? I assumed it would work on bodies of water. Huh. Yeah, I can't do it out here. Maybe I have to build a pool first. But I don't want to buy a pool just to test that theory out. Well, I have a little bit of money. Let's do Let's try that. Let me... If I grab this, grab pool, and select this, which is... Wait, where did I, where did I go? Fell down shift. Okay, that's too expensive. Never mind. I don't want to don't want to mess with that. Okay, well we'll play with that later. 
But as far as water rides, uh, we do have various boat hires like the swan boats. I'll probably have to put a track around it so people don't get lost. So let's pl place this here. And no test mode, so let's, uh, I don't get any wide turns, which is a shame. I can't actually see the bottom of the water. Where's my fence? I can't see! And now it's dark. I think, I think I keep seeing it flicker, like, right there. Oh, look at this! My cursor's messing with the water's surface. That's cool. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's just turn here. Whatever. Then we can maybe put scenery around this in the water. Very nice. Could I do that one tile sooner? Let me see. Yep, say the easy doodle bird, I can. Let's go to the edge of the park. To this corner. Very nice, very nice. Now obviously I'm going to paint this because I don't like this color scheme. Let's make these buoys, or these pontoons, whatever you call them, white. And the bottom's red, so they look like they look like fishing bobbers. And then the station, that can be black, whatever. The swan boats are white, of course. And why do I only get one? What the heck? Give me more! Holy. Oh, that's number of circuits. <laughs> Wrong button! Uh, <laughs> bring the pack down to one. How do I increase the number of boats? Oh, it's right here. What am I doing? That doesn't look right. Let's reduce that to maybe, maybe four. Nah, three is fine. Okay, so... Right. Let's grab our sandy, sketchy boardwalk first. Put a ramp there, there we go. And for this... Just go up like that. Perfect! And now I can open it. And with stats are not great. <laughs> 2.34, okay. So 2.30 for this. Cute little swan boat hire. And as I said, I wanted to put scenery in it, so let's look at our options. I don't have a category of water scenery. Ooh! A shark attack! This'll be crazy, let's do this. Can I put it under the... Oh yeah, let's put it in the track. That is so cool. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now how do I choose which of the... Maybe with this one. I want to see this so bad now. Maybe here. So let's ride this. Let's ride the boats. There's no test mode. I want to ride it and see what it does. Come on, people. Come ride it. Come on down and try out this boat hire. What's the job thinking? Make way. Okay, looks like our mechanic is coming to... Never mind. I thought I was going to investigate it and fix it. Don't go to the exit. Go to the entrance, people. Yes. Yes. No, no, no. Slow down. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, ho, ho. Did you see that? I missed, I couldn't quite get in the boat with them. I wanted to ride the boat with them, but it came out and like took a chomp into the boat. That was timed perfectly. Wow. Pirate hat is really good value? My foot! We can change that right now. Pirate hats. Let's make that 225. That's what you get for complimenting my stuff. Ooh, aquarium, that's on that's brand. Careful ducks, there's a... I was trying to click the reflection. There's an angry shark in this in this uh water. You better watch yourselves. So if I ride this, oh, I'm in the wrong boat. Bring me to the front one. There we go. Any takers? Oh, hello, boat. Uh, oops, wrong button. I meant to stay in there. Here we go. And oh, I'm sitting on the top of it. Oh, look at all these feathers floating down from the birds I quacked. <laughs> come on, people. Come ride my swans. Event cam? What's the event cam? Does that show me the... Oh, does that let me watch the ride event? Oh, there's lights on the swans. That's so cute. Okay, so if I click this, event cam is on. 
How do I go to the event cam? I don't know how this works! Maybe I have to go to it this way? No, not that way. Nope. I'm on the nose cam, though, so let's go back to the ride cam. Any takers? Anybody, please! I wanna... I wanna get bit by a shark. What about these guys? Yes! Yes! Someone! Someone's coming to ride it! Perfect, I'm in the wrong one. Okay, Buster. I'm sitting with you, my friend. This is the wrong seat. Alright, oh, is he pedaling? Alright! We're about to be attacked by a shark. Why is this so fast? I'm not sped up still, am I? Here goes nothing. Oh, what was that? That was pathetic! I didn't even see anything! Okay, so from third person, it looked perfect, but, uh... Maybe we do it a little bit sooner. Okay, these guys are waiting. Are you waiting for your parents? This park is really clean and tidy. Yeah, maybe the parents are riding the boat, the... What kind of sound was that? I want to go on Swan Boats 1 again. And he sprints up and get... Oh, he's... Yeah, I think this is his family. They're all rendezvousing together. Is that money? Or are those maps? Great weather for the ducks. I didn't realize that was a thought. I'm stressed! It looks like they're having a, some kind of a fight. I don't want to! <laughs> I love the little interactions the peeps have in this game. It's so funny. Anyway, well, this is a success. We have the little ride event there, but I was going to add other stuff before I realized that ride events were an option. So let's see what we have to work with. I think water base. A frog fountain. Okay. Female statue fountain. Galleon animatronic. Oh, yeah. Could put that here, I guess. Let's turn it around. What other cool aquatic stuff do we get? Golden statues. That doesn't fit. Uh, rocks? I don't want to say any rock that floats. Oh, it's on the seafloor. That's actually really cool. Parrot animatronic? Yes, please. If we could put this, like, on the path. How do I make this? I wish it could be on the path. That'd be so cool. It may just have to be in the corner by the path. If I do something like that. Yeah, that's neat. I like that. Oh, and I missed it. I could have watched the shark attack again. Oh, well. Pirate Captain Animatronic. Let's put him over here. Facing the wrong direction. That's so lit. Pirate Cutlass. Oh, it is It is the sword thing. So this... I call it a... Well, in Dungeons and Dragons, you have Scimitars, and then you have a... Uh, Falchion? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. It's like a bigger... It's like a bigger version of the... Whatever you call it. Why are they pedaling so fast? Good grief. Shark attack. Oh, that was pretty cool. So it didn't come up and immediately bite the boat. You see it first before it bites, but that might, act might actually be better. So I'm going to leave it like that. Pirate flag on a pole. Let's put that behind our pirate dude. Nice. Raptor animatronic. I see more pirate stuff. So we'll have to make like a pirate themed ride. So many cool options in here. No, come back. I closed it. Let's actually close everything except pirates. Just so I can see what I have to work with in the pirate stuff. Stegosaurus? How is that a pirate? That doesn't make sense. Treasure pile. Which looks like it'll just be floating. Let's put it there. So this guy's looking for it, but he can't see it because he's standing too close to the path. <laughs> anyway. So we have a little bit more money now that we've had a... Had our park fast forwarded for so long. Let's fast forward it again and build more stuff. Let's look at our options. Uh, we have uh, oh, the Odyssey ride. Oh, I need to turn all these back on. So the Odyssey ride is very much in theme. So let's grab it and plonk it down somewhere. There's a lot of wasted space in the middle here. I could have placed rides, but I did the silly food court thing and the Ferris wheel is all wonky. So nah, nothing will fit. Unless I move the Ferris wheel. Oh, well, we could put it right here, I think. Or maybe not. What if I put it in the water? It's like a ship, so let's put it in the water. That's actually a good spot for it. But first, I think we need a pier. So let's make a, a pier out of the sandy uh, sand path, which looks very safe. Okay. 
There we go. How we go, Gavna? This will connect to it as well. Wonderful. We could even leave the middle open for like shops or something. All right, so this is the start of a pier. We could extend it or have paths reach out around it. But for this, for now, it's just gonna be where I place rides. So let's grab the Odyssey ride again and place it right here. Whoa, world just spun around. On second thought, that doesn't actually fit. So how about right here? Why is it floating up above the water? Can I not sit on the water? All right, fine. Fine game, I see how it is. So if I rotate this, I think it's, this, is it the same height as that path? It is not. Oh no, it is sitting on the water. Okay. But it's not gonna connect to the path because the path is raised above the water level. So I need at least two tiles of space to make this work, which means I can't put it here. So we'll put it over here instead. Right there. Although it's touching the roller coaster. I don't want it to touch the roller coaster. So delete. And we'll try again. What the? What is this? There's literal sharks in the water. I didn't know that was a thing. Now I'm curious. I want to see if it'll attack our guests. Guys, should I do it? Should I do it? I don't want to be a barbarian, but I'm my, my curiosity. I got to see. I got to see what happens. Will the guests drown immediately, though? He's not going to drown, is he? The shark's leaving him alone. Oh, we can actually swim. Oh, it says he's drowning. So let's start him over again. Shark? You know you want it. <laughs> okay, the shark doesn't care. Whatever. Whoa, he just transformed. What happened? Oh, he had a hat. He keeps taking his hat on and off. I thought he was a different person for a second. <laughs> okay, well, we felt. I guess we know the shark doesn't eat people. What a shame. Can I click on the shark? What happens if I click on the shark? This is a great white or a tiger shark. That's so cool. Okay. Anyway, back to the Odyssey ride. I got so distracted. I was not expecting to see a shark there. So we'll place that the there. Ta-da! Um, I think I want to swap the entrance and exit. So let's actually do that. Um, move the entrance to where that is. <laughs> I wish it would let me do them at the same time. I have to stagger it like that. Okay. Now sand. And then the entrance. Ta-da. Now we can open it. And the stats are not great, but they're not bad. So 260 for the admission fee. And there we go. Now it's open. Or is it open? Okay, good. Just make sure I didn't miss it. Oh, I built it backwards. Okay, hold on. I got to delete it. Gosh dang it. I didn't realize there were stairs on it. Ah, build it the wrong way, I say. Here we go. Now the stairs are facing the right way. Not that it matters, it still would have been operational, but the guests would have had to run all the way around the back, which would have bottlenecked the throughput, or the, yeah, the, the capacity to churn out guests. So, anyway, now we can start <laughs> putting more stuff down. Let's have another food court here in the water. Maybe some chimkin. Yummy, yummy chimkin, and the prices should, yep, already be synced with the other stall. Let's actually have chili available with the four-piece. Or I guess, can I drag new items onto it? I don't think so. Okay, whatever. So we'll leave that, and we need a drink stall. Oh, we have coffee. So let's place coffee right here. And this should be... What is this? Sugar, whipped cream... Uh, huh... Let's just turn everything on and leave them a guest's choice. I don't know anything about coffee because I don't drink it. I just know that uh, bl uh, black coffee is basically coffee with nothing added to it. I don't know. Whoops. And then our, I guess we'll have to wait on our inspector to tell us if those are too expensive or not. Or just read the minds of our guests. So we have a coffee shop. What else? Do we still have these two cutlasses and pirate hats? 
We could have more bathrooms over here. So bathrooms and maybe a first aid station that doesn't actually do anything as we as we learned. Unless it wasn't doing anything because there was two of them and people were going to the first one. That might have, yeah, might actually be what was going on. Then an info kiosk. Sell more umbrellas. Actually, I think I want that facing... Well, no, everyone's going to this side, so that's fine. So info kiosk, that should be synced with the other one. But is it, though? Did I do that? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, good. All right. And I think there was a few more things. Oh, yes. ATM, put that in the corner. So it's touching multiple tiles. And I love how the floor fills in automatically to make it look like it's part of the structure. Okay. Now we have two more slots. Now I could put more souvenir stuff there, but I want, I want to wait until we have more options and I can put other things there. Anyway, we still have a lot of money. <clears throat> so let's look at more riot options. I think we should expand to our other island. Whoa, too far. Oh, I didn't realize. There's like the, the, the snake lamps make a ring around the island. That's cool. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's uh, go ahead and connect this. So let's grab the leaf path. Looks like we have a hill in the way, so we have to go around this way, I think. Oh, no, don't want that one. I want my boardwalk of destiny. The sketchy, rickety, not safe boardwalk. There's the shark again. Is this the same height? Doesn't look like it. Right by the snake lamp. Whoops, delete that. And then back to the leafy path. No, no, no. Oh, no, I want the, still want the boardwalk. There we go, now we can do the leafy path. Wonderful, and it's all connected. Alright, now let's think about how I'm going to do this. It looks like this this island is tiered, which means placing flat rides will be challenging except for anywhere but the top. Unless I build it over the water. So um, so we'll have a path around the, uh, the, the middle tier, perhaps. Like so. Yeah, I don't know. This is a little advanced for me. I'm not an expert at this game. Go ahead. Hello, palm tree. You're in the way. Which means I'll delete those and go the this way. No, I did not mean to do that. Whoops, I missed one. Oh, there's a tree there. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Hershey's Storm Runner. I wonder what that is. Oh, that's the crazy roller coaster, isn't it? That's a. Uh, <laughs> there's absolutely no way we're building that. That would make us lose. We can't have any roller coasters faster than, what was it, 51 miles per hour if we want to win? So, building that would be a mistake. Unless you win, and then you want, after winning, you want to come back and just play around with the park. So, I mean, you could build it, but. Until we get, until we get Tycoon, the Golden Tycoon hat, we don't want to mess with that. I guess we could fit flat rides in some of these spots if I didn't make the path go right through the middle of it. So I wonder... If we bring this, uh, down... Whoops, wrong one. Give me this one. Then rickety boardwalk. Down to the beach. Something like that. Whoops. Then the idea for this is I want it to go under this. And then this will go down and connect to it. I don't know. I could try connecting these here, but this is a bit of a wide spot of flat land that I could try to put a flat ride on, maybe. Well, it's not like I have a lot of options for flat rides anyway, so well, I'm, I'm overthinking this. Let's just connect it. Whoops-a-daisy. Delete that. There we go. Nice. And we'll have to uh, connect these later. Or I can just do it now. Whatever. Connect them now. Why not? Did that just slope up? No! Bad. Make it flat. No. 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 Bad. Ugh. Well, I guess I have to do it now. 
Oh look, it smoothed the land up for me. Well, that works. <laughs> I was trying to do what I did over here with the platform and then the ramps, but whatever, this works. Okay, now with the world sped up, we're making a lot of money, so we could uh, probably afford another roller coaster. I'm still confused about this, about the shark show though. Not the shark show, the killer whale show. I mean, I, I feel like I should be able to just build it in the water. Is there a minimum depth requirement? Or was that gentle rides? Yeah, I feel like this would only work with a pool. Just because I'm curious and I'm making, uh, making enough money that I don't have to worry about finances. Let me just as an experiment build a small pool area just to see if that's what the problem was this whole time. Why well, can't I? What is happening to the world? Okay, well that's not big enough and it's not going to let me go wider. What is happening? And why does the texture keep changing? Weird. Anyway, is this wide enough? I don't think it is. Because this was far too big. Yeah, this is a, what is this? Three by, oh no, it's four. Four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four by eight tiles, I think. So if I was to make a pool that would be big enough to house this, it'd have to be four by eight. But it's under gentle ride, so I feel like it shouldn't be required to go into a pool or else it would be categorized differently. I'm confused by this. Do I need to shift and drag up? Is it trying to build underwater? No, it seems like it's working. How do I build this? Oh, uh, oh well. Next time, baby. Next time. We have more flat rides to play with, so let's grab... Ooh, we have a top spin. Let's do the sky swat now that we have room for it. Maybe the top of this hill. Plop right there. Very expensive. And place the entrance and exit for it. Correlate it to where the ramps are. Nice. Let's get a different style for this. Delete those. Replace that with the leaves. Alright. Q line, same deal. Kill you, palm tree. Okay, now it's too long. Okay, change of plans. Um. Um. Any, um. Um. De dum dum bum ba dum. Maybe I could do a switchback thing, or do this. Although I don't like stairs next to ramps. Gosh darn it. Oh, oh, I know, I know. This whole thing could be a ramp. And if we knock this tree down, bada bing, bada boom, perfect. All right, what are the stats on this? 4.88, not too shabby. So let's go 490 for the, the price of admission to this ride. Wonderful. All right, let's build some more stuff. We have, um, we have the sky, so I just built that. The double swinging inverter. Basically the swinging inverter ship, but doubled up. So maybe we'll build that over here on this side of the island. Is that floating? Hey, uh, why are you floating, Buster? This one's not floating. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, delete. Get all my money back. Well, except for the trees I knocked down, of course. Uh, double swinging inverter. Here we go. Yeah, flatten the land. And rainforest. I'm putting the, the entrance and the exit there because that's where the ramps are to get on and off. Oh, I don't want that to be sand. Um, asphalt. And of course this doesn't fit. So we gotta go down this way. But this works. Nice. Okay, and for the entrance path. Whoops. Flat. I uh, go down. Ah, oh, I can't go down. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Um Whoops. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Now I can make the no, delete you. Make the path go around it by sacrificing a palm tree. All right, and now it's like perfectly symmetrical. That's really cool. Let's open it and look at our stats. 
Holy smoke, it's quick. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting the world is fast forwarded. Okay, so 3.82. So let's charge 380. Very nice. Okay, now I have $6,000. So let's build our roller coaster. Let's grab our junior, which will probably be a little easier to work with than the, the side friction coaster, which has so much drag and resistance that it just keeps stalling. So let's build this... Uh, where do I want to put the station? Let's put the station at the top of this hill. Right here. Two, three, four, five. It's sitting on the ground, though. I don't like it when it sits on the ground. Oh, well. Let's see what we have to work with. Three cars? What is that? Let's go five cars. Or six cars, so we'll have multiple trains. All right. So we can't make this too tall for reasons we know. Can I not turn this? What? Hey, yo, why can't I turn this? Okay, fine. So we have a funky tip over for some reason. <laughs> All right, well, let's not bank that. Let's just turn it. And that doesn't work. Okay, so we'll do this instead. Let's monitor our speed with a graph. Okay, that stalled uh, just over 25 miles per hour, I think. And what am I doing? This is where the paths are going to go. Oh, well, I'll build around it. Did it just stall? Oh no! <laughs> it stalled. Why did it stall? Why are there only three cars? I thought I gave it more cars. That's weird. Uh, let's see what it does. And maybe if I speed up the lift hill speed, it'll have a little more speed right off the bat to start with. Go, 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 go. 73.83, can you do it twice? Oh, yep, we're good. All right. I'm not sure what the problem was. That was weird. Oh dear, I just screwed my path up. You cannot please pl uh, place a track piece there. Well, I screwed up my landscape and I can't fix it. Because I can't click on this. No, 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 no! Do not test while there's the track isn't complete. <laughs> it's going to crash. Okay, well, we'll have to cover this up with scenery or something. So back to designing this. I don't think we're going to make it to the top of that hill. Now, looking at our options for special track pieces. Well, maybe we could. Let's just let it roll. See what it does. Can I helix this? Whoops. Large helix down. Oh, that even fits. Wow. Small helix. Go over that part of the track. Large helix up. And now we're... Oh, we're taller than the station, actually. Okay. So I think this is long enough. So we just have to bring this down to the level of the station. I went down too far, so I'm down one tile, or just not helix this, I just do this instead. Flatten out. Very good. Now just bring this back like so, and block break. Now I get two trains, if I go here, block section, two trains. Okay, let's ride this. Actually, let's paint it first. This paint is terrible. Um, close you. All right. So red stands out from all the green. Although I want... These are ladybird trains, so I want the, these to be red. So let's make this red. That was the wrong color. Why can't I change it? Oh, that's the lights. <laughs> Whoops. Make that red with black spots. 
Yeah, there we go. That's good. Okay, so the that's red. So the track could be green. If it's a bright enough green, it'll stand out from the greenery, maybe? Uh, not really. Okay, <laughs> it has to be something else. How about pink? That kind of works. It looks unfinished, though. Like a 3D model that wasn't rendered all the way. Okay, so now it's like a flower. So pink stalks with purple petals, or pink petals. Yeah, I think I like that. So let's test it. Hop aboard. And what cam is this? Okay, so this was the... Uh, the okay. So this is the nose cam, front cam, rear cam. Yeah, I like this better. Yeehaw! Woohoo! Not too intense, very gentle. Not a lot of lateral forces. And just breeze through these turns ever so slowly. You could probably stick your hand out and slap that pole, actually. That's not safe. <laughs> Whee! So slow. Okay, I'm bored now. Let's just let it finish. <laughs> now we gotta wait on that one to finish. Or the wait on this one, I mean, to finish for that one to go over the hill. Maybe I should have just made the station longer and had multiple trains. Although, the longer it waits here, the longer it can wait for passengers, so that's alright. We have good stats. Let's look at the speed. Perfect. And the ride length is 1,100 feet. We need this to be, yep, just barely long enough. So this is like the perfect roller coaster to meet the requirements of this park. So let's um, get our entrance and exit sorted out. With this one, we could cover up our hole in the ground. All right. Now the queue line. Do 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 do. Why can't I do that? Oh, oh! The roller coaster train is in the way, or the track. Okay, fine. I see how it is. I'll move you over to there, and not cover it up. We'll put, we'll put trees in there or something, like this. Watch this. <laughs> it just looks like plants now. That's funny. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Uh, path. Q line. Delete this palm. No, wrong palm tree, darn it. And now the track's in the way again. What was I thinking when I did this? How am I going to make this work? Everything's in the way. Okay, delete those. No, don't delete it. After all that hard work, let's move the entrance over. Do I have room to put a, a piece of, of path there? Nope, it looks like I have to put the entrance on the back. All right, well, let's do the exit first. Let's grab concrete. That is not concrete. Uh, concrete. For the stairs. Oh, that's a problem. Um, hmm. Maybe we just go over it, like this. Whoops. Yeah, what was I thinking? How, what, what did I do here? So delete those, down, and flatten out. Then down again, flatten out. And, oh, I can't go that way, okay. Down twice then, and now we're on ground level, perfect. No, delete that. Okay, so now the exit is sorted. Okay, now we just need to move the entrance again to the back side of this. Maybe not there. Uh, closer to the middle. Oh, I can't put it there. Okay. No, 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 no. Come back. Yeah, I think this is literally the only place I can put it. Because there's no tiles there. So that's the only spot. What was I thinking, guys? Okay. So entrance time. It's going to be a long queue line. Let's knock some trees down. No, not those trees. The other trees. There we go, now it connects. Wonderful, and it's not even too long. This came out perfectly. And now once I pay off my loan, I'll win uh, Entrepreneur. But I don't want to do that yet, so we're going to leave this where it is. Did I change the price yet? Nope. So 4.73, so 470 for this. And I see ducks! Can we just pepper the ground, dust the ground with your feathers, please? Thank you. Very nice. All right. Snake Helter Skelter 1 has just had to make an emergency stop. That's not good. 
I just realized I still only have one handyman in this entire park. And there's a lot of path, a lot of ground to cover, and no garbage cans on this other island. So let's, first of all, hire some more staff. Hire another one of these guys. And you are not lazy at all. Wonderful. So give you some training so you're faster. Wonderful. Now let's b build more benches and garbage cans. Starting with garbage cans, because I see a lot of litter out here. Like this. Most untidy park. Gosh. Oh yeah, and looking at my park rating, it's not good. I have mismanaged this park, but no more. We will fix it today. Well, not today today, because the time is going so fast, but today, this session. In the next few weeks, maybe. Uh, A few there. One there. I just remembered we also need more. Why is there so much litter here? Guys, there's garbage cans. Why are you not using the garbage cans? Y'all suck. Darn guests. Need more garbage cans here, I think. Around the shops. What a mess. Let's place garbage cans over here as well. Down here by the beach. And this food court. Pier thing we have going on. Do we have more shops, actually? No, no, yes. Crocodile balloons, which look silly. All right, let's set this to a buck 25. I don't know if that's a fair price. We'll find out. Anything else? I think that's the only new thing we have, so that's going to be it. We have another one of these, I guess. It's in theme. We need benches as well, and more garbage cans. Let's just finish the garbage cans first. Oh, that's floating. What the heck? Floating is not permitted. Lots of nasty stuff over here. Good grief. Our park rating is still in the gutter, so uh, maybe just hire a bunch of handymen to quickly clean it and then fire them. Okay, so we have garbage cans everywhere. Let's grab benches. Let's grab these these log benches. This is cute. I like this, especially in this rainforest, island, palm tree, whatever you call it. Just benches here and there to hopefully curb the vomit problem in this park. I like how they're all facing, the backs are facing the forest and the fronts are facing the water. So you can look out at the sea, at the tide, as it waves back at you. Yay! Yeehaw! Look at these guys with swords. Can you imagine in today's world people walking around with swords? Probably wouldn't be allowed because people are so sensitive about uh, weapons in public. <laughs> Even the likeness, like a toy sword. You bring a Nerf sword from Walmart to a theme park, you probably get arrested or something. Anyway, so now we have benches everywhere because we already got benches. Oh, wait, no, no, I forgot. We got to get benches over here too. Benches on the pier. Let's grab the regular park benches for this part, though. Something like this. Yay! Yay! And that should do it, I think. Our park rating is quickly climbing back up. It looks like our handymen are finally getting down to business and cleaning up the mess. Let's close this. How much money is this generating? So far, this has generated $8,000. So this one flat ride is probably our 
made the most money of all of her rides in this park. What about this one? 900. Ha, <laughs> diddly squat. Heh <laughs> Hardly, hardly compares. This ride, 12,000. Not too shabby. What about the Ferris wheel? 2,000 so far. And our shark attack ride has generated piddly nothing. 84. Just shy of $500. All right. What about this? Not a whole lot of people riding it. Just a handful here and there. All right. This ride is... It's got sparse passengers, not a whole lot, but it's something. So we need one more roller coaster to win. So let's finish fleshing out this park a little bit. I think this is going to be a shorter video. This has been going for one hour and 20 minutes so far, so it's not really short. I've had much shorter videos, but not one of my super long three hour videos. It's not a very long scenario, but it's enough to get some good content. Close that. And what else do we have? Uh, we have all of these except for uh, octopus. This is perfect. Perfectly in theme. Let's go to the pier. Uh, frame rate. Uh, here we go. Perfect. Let's place it right here. Right there. Yes. Grab our canoe thingy. Canoe entrance. And maybe go concrete for this one. Or actually, no. I like the I like the the boardwalk. So let's leave it as it is. Boardwalk. Boop. Except that it's all squarish. I don't like that very much. Oh well. <laughs> I like the sound of the shark attack. Okay, now we can open it. And what are the stats? Stats 2.3. So 2.30. We can. 2.3, so we can charge $2.30. Very nice. Can we change the color of this? Look at these boring colors. Let's get like a pur... That's the wrong one. A purple octopus. How do I change the head? It looks like I can't change the head, but purple is a good color scheme, so we'll leave it like that. Purple octopus. I feel like octopuses are like often purple, red, or blue. Drinks one has been fixed. Great. Thanks for telling me. What else do we have? Maybe we could have an enclosure in this rainforest. Nah, that takes a lot of space. Not very profitable. Ooh, we have a giant Ferris wheel. Which is kind of out of place in this tiny park, but uh, I want it, so let's do it. If I can find a good spot. What if I turn it? No, it's too big. Okay, it hangs over the edge a little bit, but that's all right. If we pl uh, place it he here. But look at this, this is ridiculous. <laughs> It's so big. All right. Grab a rainforest entrance. Oh, I built it backwards. Gosh darn it. Okay, let's turn it around. Grr, get my money back. Giant Ferris wheel. Let's go. Okay, the ramp is on the correct side now. Boop. There we go. Let's place the entrance closer to the ramp. Something like there. Have the exit over here. All right. What is this? Dirt track. Now let's just stick with the leaves. And delete this tree. And that tree. That doesn't touch the bottom. That's not the boardwalk. Let's get the rickety boardwalk. Because it's sketchy. It's rickety. Perfect. And now for the queue line, the cute line, the quee line, how, whatever you call it. I've heard people call it a quee line, but I had to Google the pronunciation because I wasn't actually sure if I was saying it wrong. It is a queue line. That is the correct pronunciation, at least according to Google. And Google often is wrong. But that's what I'm going with for now. Ta-da! The giant wheel is now open with... And not terrible stats. 3.6, so we can charge 360 for this. 360 degrees to one revolution. All right. Now that's a sight. Look at that. It's beautiful. It does make the island look kind of diminutive by comparison, but it, I like it. It's cool. What else do we have to play with? We have more water rides, right? Let's grab a... Let's see. Water tricycles. Mini sub. Does this go underwater? Jet skis and bumper boats. Yeah, I think this goes underwater. So let's do this over here. Give people more of a reason to come over here. 
Could we have multiple stations? We could make this like a transport ride. Speaking of which, maybe we have transport rides that are already designed to be like that. So let's, um... Is it under this? Do I have a category of transport rides? I can't remember. Here it is, transport rides. Anything underwater. Water-based transport. Oh, here we go. So we could have like a, a, system, a ferry system that goes to all the islands. So let's put it here. And, uh... Do I get multiple boats? Okay. Do I get to, uh... How do I do this? Do I make multiple stations? Start a segment of... Oh, I get it! Oh, this is sick! This is ingenious! One, two, three, four, five. Is that how long the first one was? Yep, yeah, five. And then the final station will be over here at this island, I guess. But we'll have to expand to it first. So let's... Uh, no, 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 no. Delete that. One, two, three, four. That's uh, too close to the bank. Now, let's just leave it like this. Only two. That's cool. So now we get four boats. And it looks like I can't open it. Or test it, I just have to open it. So let's get our, our entrances and stuff situated. Boat. And the other one. Whoops, not there. Nice. Nice. I love this. I don't know if there will be enough demand to use all four boats, though. Maybe I should make the stations shorter. Yeah, let's just do that. Shorter station, so delete that one and delete that one. So now there's two boats. Delete that tile and delete that tile. Uh, how many tiles do I actually need? Oh, I think they need to be longer. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. So let's get two boats. All right, and now we need to make our paths and then we'll be ready. Out of the way, silly tree. Did that connect? Did that connect? Oh, good, it connected. Okay. And now for the queue line. How will I make this work? No, no, <laughs> connect, don't do that. Okay, we're, we're using the chicken again, the chicken hack. This is called the chicken hack. Should I coin that as a term? Like I'll make a whole video about it, the chicken hack. I don't think it worked, I have to. <laughs> okay, chicken hack. Let's grab the chicken. Oh, it still didn't work. How did I do it before? I did something before that made the land raise up to connect with it. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure what I just did, but whatever it was, it worked. <laughs> All right. Now for the other station. Hey, yo, why aren't you connecting with the ground? No, no, no. No. No! No! Ugh. This beach is not very accommodating. Yay! Yay! Maybe this one will work. Ah, oh, there we go. Aha! Now we're talking business. Almost so close. Maybe if I do this. Grr. That might work. I may have just done it. Yes, it connected. Perfect. All right, and now we can open it. Water-based transport. Sweet. Who wants to ride it? Come on down, my friends. Oh, we need water, or water. We need music for this. Let's go Pirate Dreads. Can we ride it? Oh, this is cute. Why are you sitting in the back of the boat? There's so many better seats. Wait, where'd it go? Did it go on a grand detour? What's it doing over there? <laughs> that is not the route I assumed. I assumed it would go through here. 
Well, that's cool. You get a whole, uh... Hey, actually, we let's make another station. Let's make another station. So construction, one on the edge of this pier. But I can't see through the water. Maybe want to make the pier longer. So first, let me, uh... Oh, this flickering! Stop! How do I see through the, 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 the toggle terrain grid? Oh, here's the fence. Okay. So, yeah, I think I do want to extend the pier a little bit more. It's just so I don't waste this space here. So let's grab this. And delete these benches and garbage cans. Or actually, I can maybe do another, like, food court thing there. Just a few more stalls. I don't know. Okay, with that done. Now, construction. New station, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is way bigger than I thought. Is this two tiles wide? Goodness. Okay, I delete those then. Three tiles. It just occurred to me there's no way for it to actually reach that. Because it has to be able to go around it. Okay, yeah, delete these tiles. And please move, sir. I need you to not drown. Move! Get No! Get, get, get out of there. Okay. So delete those. And I'm not sure how much space I need on the side to make this work. So let's just, um... That's three tiles. We'll make it at least two tiles. Something like that. I don't know. And then I guess the boat can go around this way or something? I don't know. We'll, we'll finagle it. Let's turn this around. And that looks good. Two tiles on both sides. One, two, three. Okay. Close that. I said close that. There we go. Now entrance and exit. And exit, I say. There we go. Let's actually change the color of the boardwalk. Let's make it brown. Was that brown? All of it brown? There we go. Now it's brown. I guess the supports are brown too now. Alright. Queue line time. Up with a ramp. A slick ramp that's not safe to walk on when it's wet. Let's just make this short. I don't want to mess with that too much. Okay, so that's done. Now the only way for the boat to get in and out is through here, so let's see if that even works. So let's try three. Oh, I need to toggle those grid lines, hold on. That's annoying. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. I love this. Get attacked, you swan! That's it. Shark. What should we call a shark? We'll call him, uh... We'll call him, uh... Barnacle. Yes! Take a chomp out of him. Let's watch it real time. No, let me right... No! Why is it... Ugh, I have to click here. Well, now I don't get to see it. Until someone gets in this one. Any takers who wants to get eaten by a shark with me? Since I've adjusted the, uh, the what do you call it? Since I've adjusted the timing. Any takers? Somebody, please. I want to get eaten by a shark. Okay, here we go. So now we, uh, go to the front one. Oh, hello. How do I switch seats? Okay, I can't switch seats by the look of it. And, uh, where's the shark? Where's the shark? Oh, what was that? Oh, hello. Why are you so upset? Why do you look upset? All right, why aren't you happy? You're in the best place you've ever been in your life. I'm just kidding. Maybe if I change the view, if we go to the this one. Okay, so now we're on top of it. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Oh, I missed it. Okay, let's go to the front one. Uh, nose cam, no! Ah, this is hard. Let me in. Not this one, not this one. Ah, this one. Now this is the top, this is the nose cam. Maybe the nose cam is what I really need, so I get... Uh, oh, hello there. <laughs> Have you seen the meme where it's like the duck looking down at you and it says, Pathetic. That's what this is right here. Uh, anyway. So this will look more, uh, intense when we get attacked by the shark. Let's see what happens. Oh, gosh! Oh my goodness! I knew it was coming, but it still kind of jaded me. Jaded me is the wrong word. That kind of startled me. Okay. Okay, let's see what this boat does. Is it going to turn around, or is it going to try to go under the bridge? Where can I ride this? 
I think this is the wrong one. Oh, and they pass each other. Don't crash. Oh my goodness! Oh, they totally crashed! <laughs> they just phased through each other. That's broken. But yeah, it looks like this one is going to uh, go outside of the park. What? All right, let's go outside the park, I guess. I guess it's not bound by the boundaries of the park. That's cool. I like that. Anyway, so we have $14,000. I think it's time to build another roller coaster and wrap up this park. So let's grab a, let's look at our options. Dolphin show. Well, for some reason I can't build it. Let's see, inverted hairpin coaster. That's a fun one. Rafts, I don't know if that counts as roller coaster. Virginia reel. We should probably do that one, but I still, just for the sake of closure, I want to figure out how I do these freaking whale shows. So if we go to gentle rides, here with the dolphin show, and maybe the dolphin show is smaller, so I'll be able to fit it somewhere. Maybe what I should just do is build a golf course, not a golf course. What am I saying? Guys, my, I'm drunk. I'm not actually drunk, but I feel like I'm drunk. I've never been drunk, but what am I saying? My brain's not working. Where's the swimming pool? So if I do this, get rid of this silly lamp, make this big enough. Something like this. Is this big enough for the dolphin show? Let me see. Dolphin show. Oh, it's still not big enough. Gosh darn it. Uh huh. Okay, back to the, the swimming pool. How tall can I make this? If I hold shift down. Why is it not letting me do it? it? It's okay if it's higher. You know what? Let's actually delete all this. We delete all this. And then try again after holding shift to drag it up higher. That's very expensive, but I can afford it because I'm rich. Okay. Killer whale show. Moment of truth. Well, let's just do the dolphin show that fits. Hey, yo, why is... What? <laughs> Maybe that's have water in it. Let's do that first. I was hoping that I could get away with doing it without water, but because water's expensive. Yikes, that's expensive. Okay. So close that. I'm just curious. That's I'm just I'm just experimenting right now because I have extra money. Dolphin show? No! No! Or is it still too big? How do I do this? Blarg. It should fit perfectly. Maybe it needs to not be touching the borders. So if I make it just a wee bit wider. Oh, this is expensive. I don't like this. That's $400 down the drain. And another $200 down the drain. Let's speed this up. I want my money back. Give me my money back. All right, dolphin show. No. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And I can't put it in the water for some reason. Does it need a certain depth? Weird. I'm confused. What is it supposed to interface with? Oh, well, let's just uh, get rid of this now. No, wrong tile there, Buster. There we go. Give some of my money back, just a little bit of it. Octopus one is still broken. We probably need more staff. So let's hire another mechanic. I see a lot of garbage out here. What is wrong with you people? You, sir, are not horribly lazy, so we'll keep you. That's some fun music. And we need more handymen. We need a lot more handymen, because this is a disaster. Let's put you there. You are quite lazy, so discipline! And you're still lazy. Okay, whatever. Just train him up. Train him up! And another one. He was extremely lazy. Now he's on to 23. Perfect! Send him off to college. Okay, with two additional handymen, that'll hopefully fix our uh, litter problem. I guess I could have more garbage cans over here. So, uh, scenery, stuff... I don't know, I have so many garbage cans and they're like not using it. Using them. Okay. 
Back to roller coasters. Let's look at our options. We have the inverted hairpin, side friction, Virginia reel, corkscrew. We could do a corkscrew, just so it has to not go very fast. I wonder what the minimum speed is to go through a, a loop. I'm not sure. This could actually go out and go around this island so I don't have to decorate it. Oh, oh, I have an idea. This could be like a, a pirate island. So let's have the station for this roller coaster over here at the same elevation as the path. So a little bit taller. There we go. Why is it always default to black? Let's make this one uh, red. The whole thing can be red. And the supports can be blue. Or a light blue. Well, now it just looks transparent. Um, okay, dark blue. Fine, whatever. Okay. That's five cars. That's sufficient, I think. And we get steep lift hills. Let's go. And I'm getting carried away already. This is already too tall and too fast. <laughs> so let's stop it right there and see if we can even get away with this. So speed is checked. Let's see what this does. Why is the lift hill still on? What the heck? Turn off, you silly goose. Silly goober. I, I think they went too fast. Although it keeps resetting. Okay, let's just bring this back to the station and just get a look at what it does. Loving these colors, though. Okay, rainforest. Okay, force results. Uh, speed results. Oh, we're just barely within the speed limit. The speed limit, which was 51 miles per hour. All right, so we can do that. Okay, then. Well, in that case, let's get back to construction. Delete this silly, silly loop I did. I think I want to make this slope more gradual, though. Something like this. So it's a little more gentle. Lots of lightning in this park. Or not lightning, rain. Okay, that's not going to work. So a little bit taller. Although this does get progressively closer to the ground, so I might actually accelerate to a point that's too fast. I don't know. I hope it doesn't. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. We will find out. That is extremely bright. My goodness. My poor eyeballs. Okay, let's do something fancy here. We're gonna... Well, I could have made, maybe made this go up. go up. Half loop. Then corkscrew the direction we want to go, which is that way. Sweet. Looks like it went through, which is fine. That was 89 feet as opposed to 122 feet. And we stalled. And why is this three trains long? What the heck? What the heck? Let's see what it does. Oh, that made it over. Okay. I'm not sure what the deal was there. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. That's a wide steep turn. But we can't do that because I need to uh, bring this home. So let's... Uh... Well, first I want to circle back and go back to the island. So maybe we can helix up. It's like the maelstrom of this ride. Okay, that doesn't work, unfortunately. Flatten out. Then tilt the other way, and then large helix down this time. And now we're gonna about to go into the ground, so that's not gonna work. Unless I go up. Maybe? Uh, it looks like it'll mess up the landscape, so nope, not like that. Large helix down. Yeah. 
Yeah, something like that. Do I have a... No, I don't. I was hoping that maybe I had, um, what's it called? The wide sweep overbanked turn, I think is what it's called? Do I get zero G rolls from steep pieces? I do, but it's too big. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, back to whatever it was before. Alright. So. Yeah, this is looking really good. So let's bring this down. Not like that. I was going to try to roll it. And it should have slowed down by this point just from drag. Okay. Darn these snake lamps. All right. Okay, now we're lined up. Let's drop back down to the height we need. 33, 30 feet and 15. Okay, so let's go back up. Then maybe uh, do... I don't know if I'm going to have enough speed, but it would be cool if I could like do a half loop. Do a, uh, what is it called? A half loop corkscrew... Corkscrew, I'm in the wrong place. So a large corkscrew? No, 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 no. I have to do this lower. So if I go, uh, huh. Yeah, how am I gonna make this work? I need more space, first of all. So let's go to 36. Yep, this is where I wanna be, okay. But I think I need to start higher up if I'm going to use the larger corkscrew. So if I do this, this is going to work. I'm going to stall. If I do this, then the large corkscrew. Or no, no, no. I had this wrong. Large corkscrew here. Then the smaller corkscrew. So make it easier. Half loop. Beautiful. Look at that. Now the, t the question is whether it's going to make it over that last bit. So let's let it go. See what it does. Unfortunately, I don't get boosters. So there really is no way for me to verify. Like, it struggled over this hill, and it was 89 feet. Yeah, brr, why did it stall there? No! No! The whole design is debunked. Defunct. Okay, so this was too tall, which means this loop will certainly not work. And this spart, spart, spot is question, is uh, questionable. So, um... Huh. I wonder. We might need a second lift hill if we want to mess around with that. So it barely makes it through that uh, half loop corkscrew combo. And then barely makes it over that hill. <laughs> really barely makes it over the hill. You know, we might be able to get away with a little more height on the lift hill. But I don't want to risk it. Just poking along ever so slow. And then stall. So if I bring these back and do a smaller hill here, whoops, go this way. Now I'll delete these. Keep going down, I say. Now twist this way. Oh, it's one tile off. What a shame. Okay, so I've deleted these. Flatten out. Although I don't think I have room though. It'll, it'll, yeah, it was only going to work the way it was before. So instead, let's just turn it. No, not like that. Flatten out. And then turn. I, I can probably bank it though. Bank. Then go up. Not banked. Excuse me, sir. Do how tall is this? So this hill's gonna be a struggle too. So let's bring all of this back. Whoa, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> I keep forgetting this is an option. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No! Stop it. There we go. That was funny though. That was funny to watch. Okay, 
So I could do the boring thing and just bring it back. Oh, I just remembered. I actually don't need to do the half loop. What am I doing? There's such an easy solution to this. What's wrong with me? Okay, well, we're, what we're going to do is finish this hill a little sooner so I don't need to have an S-band. It's already... No, no, no. Already lined up where we want it. Perfect. Then go up. And down to the water. Or almost to the water. Then up a little taller than we want. Then back down. Oh, no. Keep going up. Just a little tad. A little bit. There we go. Now we can delete this. And now, corkscrew. Corkscrew. Ho-ho! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And block brakes. Wonderful. So now we get two trains. If I switch this to block section mode. All right. Two trains, please. Very nice. And if you get stuck waiting, you're going to be upside down. <laughs> That's great. All right, 10 miles per hour. Let's close this. And let's ride it. Here goes nothing. Let's sit in the back so I can actually see the train in front of me. Oh, hello, ducks. Oh, I can't quack them, darn it. All right, here we go. woo -hoo! And as we know, I didn't exceed the maximum speed, fortunately, so... Unless this one of these spots is lower than the last spot, so... It might go faster than the minimum, but... Or the maximum. Whee! There's a shark again. I love how there are sharks just patrolling the waters. That's such a cool detail. Although it is kind of sad they didn't eat the guests. That would have been funny. I mean, bad. It would have been terrible. <clears throat> That's what I meant to say. Whee! So slow. It's like a junior ride. Okay, I'm bored now. That's way too slow. And look at this train stuck at the top of the hill. <laughs> Waiting. And just barely make it through there. Little mini hill. I feel like I need a block section sooner. Like maybe one here. So if I uh, open the editor again, click this spot. There we go, just to get it out of the way. So as soon as it reaches that spot, the other train can dispatch. All right, so let's let that test. And the minimum waiting time should be higher not that much high, 20 seconds. Just to maintain the spacing. Now let's uh, let's get our stuff in place. Our rickety, sketchy path. And then for the queue line, as always, the fancy adventure path. All right, and we'll call this the Buccaneer. And so here it is. Buccaneer, and for music, let's go with, there's Pirate Dreads, I think there's two pirate songs, where's the other one? Rock Like a Dude, Nemesis Quest, Flathead 4, uh, I could have sworn, oh, Buccaneer, we'll even give it the right music, the theme song. <laughs> yeah, so there we go, now we have multiple trains moving at once. You know, I could actually have three trains with this. Let's get three trains. Just because it progresses so slowly that we could definitely have more trains operating at once just so it gets out of the station. And that means we gotta turn down this waiting time again. 10 seconds. Okay, get out of the way train so this one can go. There we go. Wonderful. And now this one's gonna dispatch. It shouldn't, but whatever. Okay, time to make this a hidden pirate treasure island. So let's find our scenery. And look at our options. Let's turn off Western and generic. Definitely not sci-fi. Atlantis, maybe. Paradise Island, yes. Safari. Okay, let's turn off prehistoric too. So Arabian Warrior, what is that, adventure? Yep, so it's mixed with the pirate stuff. Okay. Okay, dug up pirate treasure, forgotten temple. Fort Cannon, Galleon Animatronic. Mermaid living on a rock. That's cool. Pirate Cutlass. Ruined Chamber? Okay. Okay, so let's put this here as like the central focal point. Like an ancient temple that the pirates have uh, repurposed into their secret hideout with their treasure. 
Let's grab the galleon. Where'd it go? Galleon animatronic. This is tiny, though. So this wide turn will go around the galleon. Am I centered? Oh, it's three tiles. Okay. So we'll center it by doing this. There we go. Why is it underwater? <laughs> no, no, no. Build on top of the water, you goof. There we go. Most of it's out of the water. Okay, one more try. One more try. Delete you. Um, it's still not quite right. Looks like the intervals aren't fine enough to get it where I need it. Okay, whatever. It'll just be over the water. That's not over the water. Oh, wait, no, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right. Wonderful. So that's there. And we'll maybe have this as like their landing area. So let's grab some path. The sandy boardwalk path. This is like their dock. Their personal pirate dock. I feel like this should be lower though. So let's bring this down a little bit as a ramp. There we go. So this is their dock. And now they need a dirt track, I think, for their path. And how could I make this go into the mountain itself? No, no, no. Okay, so they have a boardwalk to come up here. Why is it supported like this? All right, back to sand. Sand it is. So at least it looks like it's actually supported, which is weird. I kind of like the sand path, honestly, but it doesn't look right here. So dirt track. Have this wind through the trees. We'll have to have one fatality right there. Oh, it's not centered. It's two tiles. Well, that's annoying. What other temple type scenery do I get? We have the Forgotten Temple, which looks like it's like more of like a, yeah, it's the wrong style. Oh, well, we'll grab this again. Whatever. Or I guess it's okay if it has a double path leading up to it. So put it there, delete that tree, and double path. Or actually, this would be a stone path, come to think of it. Let's go with this. As a temple, it would have a nicer path leading up to it, I think. But this is the only option that doesn't look right, so whatever. We'll make it dirt. Dirt it is. And then flanking the temple, we'll have some statues and things indicating what kind of treasure you can find in it. Whoops. Okay, golden elephant statue. Golden hippo statue. Delete this tree. Golden Mayan statue. Oh, so this could be like like pirates finding old Mayan cultures in the uh, on a Amer um, islands in the American Pacific Atlantic. I don't know in the Caribbean, that area around the Gulf of Mexico. Now maybe. Now this could be like a guardian, like a sentry watching the head of the path here, as a warning for those who approach. Let's grab a mermaid and put her over here. Not there. Where do I want this? This rotates it, so... Somewhere close to the ground. Why is the world paused? Oh, this stalled. What's the holdup? What's going on? Oh, <laughs> it valleyed out. Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't realize that was a problem. Ah, crud. Well, that means this has to be a lift hill, and I don't think this corkscrew is going to work. So, what we're going to do is break this stuff, bring it back, and have a second small lift hill. It has to be tall enough to finish the, uh, hey, where did my, what the? Close that. Why did that open up? That was weird. Close that. Grr. All right, 69 feet to 61 feet. I think that should be sufficiently uh, 
give us sufficient speed to finish that thing. No, delete you. Okay, now test. That was annoying. Yep, we're good. We're good, we fixed it. Alright, back to our treasure island. So this is what was left by the Mayans when the when the, the, the pirates found it. And now we can build all the treasure around it. So we can have the pirate's captain standing on some of it. Or maybe not. Let's start with the treasure first and add the pirates last. Small Mayan statue? Oh, little guy. Let's do something like that. Or no. No, 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 no. Maybe these guys could uh, flank the path. Where's the bigger one? Something like that. And now we can finish that. Alright. Back to scenery. And this should be done testing now. And the stat results, very good. Speed results, very good. Maximum length. Okay, we doubled it, almost tripled it. So let's open this. Oops, not close it, open it. <laughs> and with stats like this, uh, wrong, wrong tab. 6.22, so we can charge 6.20 for this. Very good. All right, back to our treasure island of destiny. Where's my treasure piles? Treasure pile, let's clear up this middle area. Rotate the, the rotate. Rotate these so they don't all look the same. Is there a hack that lets you build things on the path? I think it's a one of, you rename one of the guests and it does it for you, but I don't remember. So what I could do instead Here's an idea. Oh, I forgot I can't. Gosh dang it. I was going to say if I paint the ground, it could look like a path. Regardless. What is this? Stegosaurus animatronic? That doesn't make any sense. Steel band member? No! Oh, wrong one. Is that under this? Paradise Island? Yeah, wrong one. <laughs> Raptor animatronics? We got like dinosaurs here? That's weird. Okay. He's too big. So are you. So are you. There we go. What is the point of this? Do I build a ship around this? Interesting. Okay, pirates captain, you can hang out over here, I guess. Oh, you don't rotate. I have to do it by hand. That's weird. He swings around a lot. <laughs> Oh yeah, a pair can go there. Where's the other pirates? Pirate mate? Y'all look way too big for your ship. I have to say. Pooey! <laughs> I don't know why that was the first word that popped into my head when he fired his cannon, but whatever. Another guy with a sword. Let's make him face this way. So you see him as you go up the hill. Okay, that looks goofy. Let's slow it down. Okay, that looks slightly less ridiculous when I slow it down. Interesting. Now, snake path lamps would be fitting here, I think. So delete that. There we go. Here's the captain, the pirate captain, hanging out where the treasure is while his mates are guarding the entrance. Look at this. I'm pretty sure that's a flat surface. Oh no, it's three-dimensional. Okay. But it's shortened. So instead, this is like this is an actual trick they do in theme parks where they use forced perspective to make things look bigger or smaller than they are. So that's cool. So it actually is three-dimensional, but it also uses forced perspective. That's, that's cool. That's, what, that's like realistic to what actual parks do. Okay, now there could be dinosaurs on this island, I guess. It's like a uh, forgotten uh, critters living here. Where's the raptor? Oh, there he is. What else do I have to play with here? Oh yeah, we have the mermaid. 
So she could be over here. Is she facing forward? I can't tell. The de details are too fun, uh, pixelated. Oh, this works. Although you're not going to see her because you're tilted the wrong way, so we'll put her here. And I can't see through the roller coaster. Yeah, that works. And maybe another mermaid over here. When you come out of this, you see her. Well, maybe she'd be hanging out with the pirates. With her pirate bros. Something like that. I don't know. Now, if I put it in the water, she'll be underwater. Or poking out of the water. That might work. Oh, yeah, that's actually perfect. She's literally poking out of the water. I wonder where else we can put little mermaids. Maybe one over here. Giving goo goo eyes to all the men coming to ride the boat. <laughs> where else? Maybe this boat station. Right there. She's giant, though, compared to them. And where's the last station? I know I have three of them. There's another one by the pier. That's right. Although over here, it's too low. So if I hold shift, I could drag it up, though. There we go. Perfect. Let's put one more right here. All right. And I like the parrot. The parrot is so cool. Put one by the bathroom to scream at you while you're trying to pee. Freak you out. I guess I could put that there. Why not? All right. Well, I'm done playing with scenery, I think. So let's close that. And um, we did select music for this, right? There's like hardly anyone here. Is this what Buccaneer sounds like? Really? That doesn't seem right, but uh, all right. What if I switch it back to Pirate Dreads? Yeah, I think I like that better. All right, let's ride the new and improved version. Wrong train. Here we go. What the heck? That's weird. Okay, zoom in, zoom in. That doesn't make sense. Let's switch to a different view. Here we go. No, 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 no. No! Let's sit in the back. Or no, let's sit in the front. Whee! The light of the water is flickering for some reason. I don't like it. Yeehaw! So basically, as soon as I pay my loan off, we win. Instantly. Because we've satisfied all the parameters except the loan. I don't think any of them are time bound. Like some some require to meet a meet a certain parameter for a certain time period. Like a park rating, you have to hold it for let's say a month for it to count. And we got caught. Now we have to wait. There we go. And that's just to make sure that like if your rating goes up for just a second and then drops below again, it doesn't get counted. Wee, this is so slow. That was really weird. Whatever the weather just did, that was really weird. All right. Well, that wasn't much of a hill. I don't know why you're putting your hands in the air, Buster. Whee! And then through the corkscrew thingy we did. Very slow. All right, is there anyone else on this? Not that I see, okay. That would be funny if someone was stuck stuck upside down there. <laughs> anyway, let's find our finances and turn our loan off. Well, actually, let's wait for the rain to stop first. I don't like the rain. Look at this one balloon floating away. Ooh, ducks. And they scattered. There we go. Sky's cleared up. Let's finish this. So let's grab finances and drop this down. Boom! Victory! We also unlocked a new roller coaster design? And land. Wait a minute. Where can I buy more land? Uh, this one. Oh, I could buy the last island. Yeah, we don't need it. We don't need it. And I'm curious, what's the new roller coaster we unlocked? The air powered coaster. Oh, yeah, because now that we win, this one's built on speed. So, whatever. <laughs> anyway, this is done. A cute little park, not huge, not super detailed. I mean, it's very detailed, that's the wrong word. Not super decorated, because there's not a whole lot of space to decorate. 
But yeah, this was fun. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and maybe comment below which, which ride is your favorite, and I'll see you all in the next one. So, so long, everyone.